we we've heard from the finance ministry we heard from the reserve bank of india uh, on their views on cryptocurrencies and having a law which allows for global acceptance uh, acceptance of global cryptocurrencies or an indian version of a cryptocurrency how do you personally as finance minister view this debate do you think uh, we're heading in a we're heading into a zone where it's almost inevitable that governments will have to come around to the realization that cryptocurrencies are here to stay how do you view this outside of what we've already heard from the rbi how's the finance minister viewing uh, this entire debate around cryptocurrencies a, a cabinet note is getting prepared it's almost uh, nearing completion and then it will be taken to the cabinet of course and uh, i have uh, said my view on this saying uh, the supreme court had commented on this uh, cryptocurrency whilst uh, we are very clear that uh, uh, the reserve bank may take a call on a official cryptocurrency or anything of that kind but from our side we are very clear that we are not shutting all options off we will allow a certain amount of uh, a window for people to uh, you know use so that experiments in uh, the blockchain the uh, bit uh, bitcoin or whatever you may want to call it the cryptocurrency experiments and fintech which depend on such experiments will have that window available for them we are not going to shut it off all but yet what kind of a formulation even for a crypto will have to be the content of the cabinet note which will get ready soon how excited are you about the prospects of blockchain technology and its application in uh, re, re imagining how we govern india and how for example land records are taken care of financial records are maintained how excited are you about the application of blockchain and how much are you pushing it how do you see that play out it's a big area and uh, i think india has a lead advantage a lot of indian fintech companies have already made a lot of progress in it we've had several presentation given to us many works are already at the state levels in some states happening and we want to take it up in a big way in ifsc too the gift city uh, in gandhinagar too we have given a lot of um, opportunities for such fintech companies to come and uh, you know uh, uh essentially be present there and take it up there we are also planning to have uh, a startup meet uh, essentially on fintech in gandhinagar in the gift city i'll uh, once the parliament is over i'll probably spend more time planning and executing that we are absolutely uh on the on the on the what do you call on the mill uh, or on the on the track for it so i don't want to keep uh, saying i'm doing this or that but on fintech on blockchain there's a lot of work going on in india and we will certainly encourage them the military hostility between india and china has impacted the economic relations uh, between our two countries uh, china was increasingly becoming one of the key sources of foreign investment into some of our young startups now there have been reports that because uh, the armies have pulled back from the northern and southern banks of pangong that the government is reevaluating uh, chinese investments uh, into india a lot of the projects for which approvals had been sought are now being looked at closely do you think a military thaw and deescalation will clear the doors for chinese investments or do you still view chinese uh, investments with a lot of suspicion well i don't think we did anything to say this chinese that chinese only because it's chinese none of that there was a clear policy worked out about uh, investments from neighboring countries or with land border countries and on that a lot of uh, uh, established protocols were uh, in place and that is the one which is in operation even today it was so earlier to earlier meaning uh between 2019 late 19 and 20 and it continues so we look at it only from that point of view we have not picked up on any one country and uh, you know said no not this country but some other country we have not taken a country based approach